all welcome to easy investing in order for you to be successful and gain your financial freedom and attain the time freedom you should have a clear clarity on the three types of income and their differences income can be classified in three categories one linear income the second is a leverage income and the third is the passive income or a passive residual income so what is a linear income Linear income is limited by your hours while passive income and your leverage income is unlimited so let's take an example if you are paid by an hour you are limited because the number of hours that you can work is maximum up to 24 the leverage income is based on the efforts of those who earn linear income meaning you get paid for the work of others So let's take an example. If you were a small business owner and you own a marketing agency, if they all quit, your business stops. So leverage income is great because you can always scale so you can bring in more people, but it has a limited scalability. To increase your business revenue, you need to increase your manpower. That leads to increasing expenses and an impact on your profit. So there is always a limited scalability. Plus, the leverage income does not offer real security. Any guess why? Because your linear income, if your employees quit or they find a higher paying job or they start their own businesses, leverage income would stop. So, leverage income is one step higher than linear. It's always a good stepping stone to build a profitable, sustainable home business. But it's still capped it has a lot more risk so what would be the most ideal income you wonder it's the passive residual income passive residual income or the passive income is the gold mine that allows ordinary people to achieve extraordinary successes passive income comes from work you have done in the past that continues to pay you earnings so let's take an example you have a youtube channel and you are earning say $100 a month from the videos you have posted in the past when you stop uploading the channel you will have lesser visitors and lesser income it's still passive but it won't be as much so i understand that people don't consider these as passive passive but it's definitely better than a linear or a leverage income passive income can also come from your rental properties or the investments that you make in fact Investments are the ultimate best true passive incomes that anyone can have. Investment requires you to have the money to begin with, but once you have it and you know the tricks, it's there to stay passive. Have you heard statistically that millionaires have seven different income streams? These income streams can be spread across the three categories that we learned today. Some of the popular income streams among millionaires are the rental income which is passive so you once buy it and you will have a rent and a cash flow every month dividends these are passive so based on how how often your company pays you the dividend you will continue to earn this passive income once you earn and you can always earn a capital gain on top of it bank interest so any emergency funds that you have kept aside either in your cds or your savings account that will earn you basic bank interest so that's again passive profit from other internet businesses so which could be as as simple as your youtube channels your publishing royalties or your the adsense or the ad mob or through your website and so on so anything from your internet business it can be the merchandising or the selling all those can be classified into that category salary so over and above all these business income streams most of the millionaires do have a salary so which is a linear one so as long as you work you will continue to earn your salary next could be the capital gains which is the most sort of passive income so you own your investments and you continue to earn the capital gains this can be either through your short term or your long term investments the short term is i wouldn't say that your short term trading it would be a a passive source of income but it's definitely something 
which would help you understand the basics and earn money for your long term which is a definite passive income as you see most of the income streams are passive and passive incomes allow you to have more time to work and build your other streams of income so what did you learn we learned that diversification is what brings you stability and success because anything goes wrong you lose one stream you can always have some earnings from your other income streams to support you and we should always strive towards building minimum of seven different in passive income streams hope you like this video let me know your honest feedback until next time